What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. And yes, this is a sad day. As I recorded this video, August 14th of 2016, guys, another app has bit the dust, has been, uh, is about to be removed out of the app store, guys. So I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about it. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video. And so today, um, we got another app that just um, is about to pull out of the Microsoft Store. I did a video, guys, about the, the app situation in the Microsoft Store. Uh, I said, I told y'all guys, my banking apps has been pulled out of the Microsoft Store. Also, the, the fake Pokemon apps that's been in the store, been pulled out of the store. And now to date, I just received an email today uh, that uh, my Amazon app. All right, so let me go on and show y'all guys real quick this email I got from Amazon. So uh, right now, guys, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen. As of August 15th, the Amazon app for Windows Phone will be retired, and its contents will no longer be updated. Please visit the browser. And you know what? That's one of the things that's happening here in, in the Microsoft store, guys. And man, as much as I do these videos for Microsoft, as much as I try to, you know, be positive about Microsoft, uh, this is what's happening here. I mean, let's, let's state the facts here. Uh, a lot of apps have been pulled out of the app store. A lot of developers doesn't support the Microsoft store. A lot of things that's happening in the Microsoft store is just not normal support. And that's a shame because the UI is good. And I mean, the devices is good. And I mean, as of the 14th guys, I haven't received the anniversary build. Uh, so, I mean, I'm still waiting on that to do a video about it. We knew that the anniversary bill was supposed to be out. I did get an update, but it wasn't the anniversary bill. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm still sticking like a thread to the Microsoft platform. And unfortunately, you know, I mean, I know y'all guys say, man, you know, Eric, I still love my Microsoft uh, Lumia devices. Eric, I love Microsoft. Yes, it's a good platform. I wait till 2017, wait till the Surface phone come out. What good a Surface phone when you don't have no apps? What good a Surface phone when you don't have no dev support? What good of a Surface phone, even the HP Elite 3, guys? I mean, a lot of people left me comments about that device. I mean, that device costs almost $1,000, right? I mean, you look, when you add all the bells and whistles with a case and paying taxes and everything, yeah, the device gonna cost you about $1,000. And not only that, but you have to be a, a, a enterprise. You have to have a business account to get the HP uh, device, guys. And so, I mean, I've heard that it, it will be sold to the consumer. I'm not sure. But, uh, man, will I go out and pay seven, eight, nine hundred dollars $900? Because they, this phone would not be uh, in an AT&T, a T-Mobile, Verizon. This phone would not be there. So you cannot get this phone on contract. So yes, if you wanted the, the, the Surface phone, if you wanted the Elite HP phone, you had to shell out all the money up front, which I buy all my devices unlocked, that's fine. But the average consumer can't shell out $1,000 for a product that don't have any apps. It's, I mean, it's frustrating to get an email. Uh, in Amazon, I use Amazon every day every week guys as you watch my channel you see all my unboxes and stuff like that all that product comes from amazon that and so i'm an amazon prime user i use amazon music i use amazon everything with amazon and unfortunately as of the 15th of august of 2016 the amazon app would no longer be here now, if you notice, I do have the Amazon app. I already talked about the Capital One app is gone. PayPal app is gone. I mean, these are apps that I use. <sighs> and it gone. So it is a bad day 
uh, if you're a Microsoft user, man, look, y'all might say, Eric, I don't use none of those apps, but what about the people that do? So I have no development support here. Uh, is it going to get better with the Microsoft uh, platform? It's frustrating, man. It's so frustrating for y'all guys that love y'all Lumia devices, that y'all guys that spend the money for these devices, guys. You know, no Pokemon. No app support. No this, no that. I mean, how? It's no excuses, man. It's no excuses. And, I, you know, we, we, when you say, Eric, it's up to the developers. Okay, well, it's up to Microsoft to entice the developers to come to the platform, right? When you got a market share that's under 1%, ain't nobody going to develop for the platform. Well, I, I mean, again, guys, I, I talk good about the platform, and uh, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating, and um, you know, uh, I'm a, I'm a Microsoft user, uh, but um, you know, I, 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 of course, y'all see my videos. I've been doing, you know, Android and iOS and stuff like that, and you know, I'm still trying to hang on, but you can't. <sighs> Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about the app situation in the Microsoft system ecosystem see you guys on the next video peace